Hi, welcome back to a Game Boy video. Yes, you can see my hands from the weird natural lighting I'm using because today we are talking about the Monster Brain for Game Boy Color and Game Boy Pocket. Very specific. I haven't opened this. I don't know what this looks like outside of the box. I got this in a trade with a local game store recently for some stuff, and I, I figured I just had to do a video. It's for Pokemon Gold and Silver, not sure about Crystal. There's another one I saw that works with red and blue and presumably yellow versions. It's by Pelican. I don't know if it works with only English versions or Japanese versions as well. We'll be trying that out. And I'll also be trying it the Game Boy Light, yes, which only came out in Japan. This was a Game Boy with a light. Only plays original Game Boy games or uh, backwards compatible color games. My, the light on mine is iffy. I'm probably going to open it up and clean it at some point off camera. If you have any advice on making sure the light on your Game Boy Light consistently works, let me know. So yeah, we're looking at the Monster Brain. This is something I thought I decided to do a video on after I got this in a recent video, which is a Game Shark for Game Boy Color and Game Boy Pocket. Along with this, I'm also going to bring in the big boy, the OG boy, and uh, even try like a non-Pokemon game. Before we get into our main Game Boy course today, I'd like to mention our sponsor for this video. This video today is brought to you in part by PCBWay.com. If you've watched the channel for a while, you know them, you love them, and they're back again here for today. Take advantage of services from 3D printing to CNCing to of course PCB design and printing services. From small orders to massive batches of PCBs, they have you covered. This includes a variety of PCB designs from the ever-growing PCBWay community. I love showing off these custom Game Boy cartridge boards I got a while back, especially with this Pokemon Crystal design on it. Very nice, really reminiscent of the Japanese Crystal design, and uh, something that I think is really cool because, you know, we're talking about Pokemon today. This is just one of many, many community source projects you can find and print for yourself from PCBWay's community. There's really a little something for everyone there. So check out PCBWay.com using the link in the description below and let them power up your next maker project today. So with that, let's get back to your regularly scheduled Game Boy weirdness. So to start, let's actually open this up and show what games I have on hand. First off, we have the OG Game Boy, the brick, and we have a fairly complete collection of the Gen 1 and 2 Pokemon games. Let's see, we have a Japanese Yoshi's Cookie, red, blue, and yellow Japan, and then green version, of course. Uh, I don't know where my Japanese silver is, but here is my American gold, silver, and crystal versions. Yeah, that's odd. And then over here we also have yellow version, the American one. So to start, I'm going to just narrow this down to a couple games. We're going to, of course, use GSC, uh, yellow, and American gold, along with Donkey Kong 94 here. Let's put Gen 1 Japan back. So let's open up the Monster Brain. Now you might know Pelican, the company behind this, for being a peripheral maker. Has millions of cheats and features, uh, you know, no codes required. Called a fantastic product by Antagonist.com, such a weird name, and something Pokemon freaks should be all over from Game Week. If we look in the back at, uh, the one thing is that it pretty much shows it's a pretty regular thing, you know, get items and money and stuff in Pokemon. Basically a Game Shark, but specifically for Pokemon, including a hundred new Pokemon. I do want to specify this thing isn't magically adding like a hundred new Pokemon or fake Mon or later gen Pokemon to your Gen 2 games. It just, it's talking about how uh, Pokemon Gen 2, uh, including Celebi, which you can get by this, that's cool. But Pokemon Gen 2 added a hundred Pokemon on top of those in Gen 1. So I'd like to go into a little bit about Pelican. What I find really fascinating besides the fact that this is a third party peripheral company a la Mad Cats that was really at its heyday from like the mid N64 PS1 era uh, all through like the GameCube, Xbox, PS2 era into even like the Wii 360, PS3 era, especially the Wii. But they're actually a subsidiary of PDP, Performance Design Products, except apparently they changed their name a few years back to just be PDP. You know, when those brandings were a company's called by the acronym for so long that they just drop what the acronym originally stood for and just go with the acronym itself. 
itself. PDP is still around. They've removed most references to Pelican from their website. They did actually have a game system, the Mac. I, it's really weird. It was released about 15 years back in some, and as a Famiclone, you know, those bootleg Nintendo systems, not authorized by Nintendo, obviously, that have like NES games. Often they have like a change title screen or run at the wrong speed. So that was actually done by Pelican and is dubiously legal, but very little besides that. Even if you go to PDP site now and look at their About Us page, you'll see some very well formatted and uh, edited pictures and some corporate jargon, but nothing about company history or anything. That's just fascinating to me. It's almost like they're wanting to hide it. Might be worth a deep dive its own someday. Warning, remember to edit experience points to a high number. Experience points determine the level, attack, speed, defense, and speed. Special values after completing a battle. 999,999 9, experience points will give you a level 100 Pokemon after a battle. Visit www.pelicanbrainboy.com for more facts. Wow, wasn't that fascinating? So, yeah, let's finally open this up. The Monster Brain. What do we get? It's like a treasure trove of the night. Oh, that's, that's funky looking. And then, is there a manual or something in here? I see lots of cardboard. Uh, what's, is there anything in the cardboard? No, it just kind of is meant to hold it there. A lot of, a lot of empty space in here. So let's, let's just put this in the background. So here's the device as well, the, the, the Brain Boy. I thought it was called the Monster Brain. Pelican, you're giving me mixed signals here. We also have a manual presented in glorious uh, black and white. <laughs> I mean, it's glossy. It's fine. It's a step up from, like, toilet paper. Yeah, how does this work? I guess you put... Here, let's, let's start with... Let's start with silver, because, you know, rep and Lugia. I guess you put the cartridge in like that, or... You put it in face down? I, I wish there was a picture. Like, I wish it told me what way. So I'm assuming it goes in like this. And then like that. There's a button on here, a colorizer button to switch your color palettes. So let's start off by trying this with the Game Boy Light. And hopefully Fingers crossed I'm bringing the good stuff. I'm bringing some Duracells. Yummy. So tell me, did you ever play around with a Game Shark or a Game Boy? I actually had two to play around with when I was a kid. I had the Game Boy Advance Game Shark, which let me get all sorts of events and stuff in Gen 3. And I also had various versions of the Action Replay DS, which is uh, very neat. So before we go on, just to show that Silver version itself works, no problem. Let's put this in here. And let's try it out. Hey, the light's working. This is so much easier to do than a regular GBC, but let's instead insert, take it out, and let's try this again. You know what, I'll be back in a sec with some isopropyl alcohol. Three hours later. All right, so here we go. Here's our cartridge, let's clean it. It lives. I don't think the save battery works. I, I got my uh, save battery and my crystal version fixed by East Starland years back. Are they still around? But I can't say the same for gold and silver. But you know what? Let's try this with the monster brain. Before we do, I want to see, does it fit in the brick? Oh, that's interesting. So it does fit in the brick. So we're going to try silver with the light and then uh, the brick 
with gold. I try out the colorizer of my GBC, but I can't find it. This is the Monster Brain with Pokemon Silver. Editor, memory, colorizer, and what does that say? Blast off. Okay, is that does that let me play as Team Rocket? Uh, let's start with the editor. Okay, so I need to save. Will it boot up without a cartridge? That's what I want to know. So here's the Brain Boy, the Monster Brain. Again, and I really love the blue light on the the Game Boy light. Yes, it's. It's 10 a.m., of course. Hi, Professor Oak. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. You can call me Pokemon Prof. Sorry this video is turning more into a look at the Game Boy Light than a look at the Monster Brain, but you know what? Sometimes that's just how it is, you know? Save battery might be dead, but let's, let's try her out. Put the game back in. And now let's try this again. The game data has been destroyed. Oh, I pressed the colorize button. Now it says to turn off game. Let's see if gold version works any better. Is there a save on my gold or is that one also dead? Damn. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to test something out. I'm going to test the the Brain Boy here with Crystal, yes, on a Game Boy Light and see if that works. And if not, then I'll try that with Yellow and also with my Japanese Gold. Could not find gold or silver game versions. Interesting. Well, let's see if it works with Japanese gold. I'm so curious about this. Like, will we be able to get this to work at all? If not, we for sure have... No, wow. It doesn't recognize the Japanese game. That's fascinating. And then... One more time, let's just try it with yellow. Oh. And again, compare that to say, if we play the gold version, the game data has destroyed. Replay game and save your position. Press A to return. Interesting. So you can actually back up and restore your game data. That's really interesting. That's really cool. So that alone makes this useful because this means that, you know, you could either say screw around with something like this that could maybe corrupt your game data with a little more uh, comfort. Or, you know, you could potentially you know, back up a game data with a team you really like, delete your save and start over, and then reload it at a later point. But yeah, let's start the game. But I wonder if this is how you can do stuff, like back it up to something like this and maybe connect it to like a PC or something? Is there, there a way to do that? I don't see any connector. Oh, I jostled it and it reset. I don't like that. That ooh, that's a little unstable. There, there's just one last thing I want to see. Let's let's take these double Oz and let's see if it, at the very least the Monster Brain will boot on an original Game Boy. If only because it does specifically say for GBC and Game Boy Pocket. I know it won't be able to do much and it won't look super pretty, but let's at least try it. So 
Let's put this here. Let's grab silver, Lugia hype. Actually, as a and let's put that here. And huh, that's really interesting. So if we put this in, for some reason, you physically, like, do, do you see this? You physically cannot turn it on. And, you know, just to show that that's a problem with the monster brain and not with any of my Game Boys, I mean. Yeah, look at that. Anyways, let's grab... The Game Boy Pocket slash Color, uh, Game Shark, and let's make sure I have a save on my copy of Pokemon Yellow. This one, I believe, I also had the battery replaced on some years back. This is the actual copy of Yellow I've owned since I was probably about 13, 14, and I think I got it at a GameStop for a couple bucks because they were just clearing out Game Boy. No, no save file. It finally went. Oh no! I think we can do wild stuff here without the need for a save. So, uh, if you look at the back, you'll notice it has initials TP. Well, what's the TP for? Hmm. It's just not booting up. It's interesting because if you try it on the OG model, it also physically doesn't work. Like, wait. I think I figured out the problem is, look at this! One of the pins has just been yanked out, oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's broke! You know, I, I, I think actually maybe it's time I give up on the Game Boy. I did. I do have this. Uh, my personal Neo Geo Pocket Color started having some issues with the screen, so while I decide to figure out how to fix that or send that off to someone, I uh, got one of these before I left. Victoria, BC when I moved. And this is a Neo Geo Pocket Color. So here, let me show this off. It has Sonic Pocket Adventure in there. Pokemon failed us, let's turn to Sonic, I guess. I can't believe both of the Game Boy accessories I brought for today didn't work. This is tragic. Uh, where's the volume? Control. There it is. What I like about this is it has this really nice clicky stick. I'm actually doing a video on Mega Man Arcade games that should be out soon, and... Yeah. Oh. Finally, something working as it's supposed to. I'm just waiting for something to break. If we can beat... Not even the zone, just, just this level. Oh, I'll be happy for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. What... Are there any accessories you'd like to see me attempt to cover in the future? Uh, this was a weird one-off vid, but I'm really glad I did it. I'm glad I finally got to try the Monster Brain. I mean, we got to boot up even if we didn't get to show off any Pokemon events. Uh, you can see some footage of the Celebi event right now. The original, fun fact, in the original Japanese crystal, you actually got that by using a mobile adapter, which let you connect a mobile phone to your Game Boy Color. Now that's cool. I would love to get one of those someday, even if they're practically useless. But... Yeah. On that sonic -y note, thank you very much for watching. Stay classy. And I'll see you next time. I'm going to go grab a drink.